recommendations that were made. I call Erica Stamper. Oh, I'm looking forward to taking this call on the families package. I, in, I specifically want to talk. I specifically want to talk to uh, part one, uh, the Best Start package, and I've got some genuine questions for the Minister that I would like uh, the Minister and the Chair to address. So we understand that in the first year of a child's life, a family will receive approximately $60, or $60 a week, $3,120 a year, and this is a universal benefit. There's no abatement applied for the first 12 months, as we understand it, except if you're receiving paid parental leave. Now, in the last uh, financial year, 28,400 people received paid parental leave, and that's a lot of people in my electorate. So what they, will be, uh, what they need to understand is actually they won't receive that full $60 a week for the whole year. They'll effectively only receive it for the, the second half of the year. Um, so what I want to understand from the minister is what was their thinking around that, um, especially because if you are on the benefit, on a sole parent benefit, um, you will be entitled to receive um, that full uh, pay, the full uh, Best Start payment. So if you are a sole parent and you're receiving your, your benefit of approximately $330 a week plus a housing subsidy plus temporary additional support, I mean that all adds up to you know, a number of $100, probably over $500 approximately. Yet if you're a working mother uh, and you are receiving the full paid parental leave rate, you're receiving $538.55 before tax, so when you take tax off, it's approximately $400. So as you can see, my dilemma here, and the dilemma for many working mothers, is that they won't be receiving this universal benefit, um, and in fact, they're worse off than someone who is effectively, who is on a benefit. So working mothers in this situation are worse off. Now, I can, we've heard a lot from from, the, from uh, Mr Robertson about how this is universal, but in reality, um, it is actually not universal at all. And I can only assume that the Labour Party uh, are assuming in all of this that working mothers have more money, have more savings, have more uh, income to be able to support themselves through that first year of life. So therefore, it's not really universal at all. You are making assumptions that there are people who have more income. So. I want the Minister to, to explain to us why it is that working mothers under this policy are, are actually worse off. Um, that's, that's where I'm coming from because a lot of my constituents will come in and, and say to me, well, look, I'm so excited about receiving this money, I'll have to say to them, well, actually, if you're, if you're one of the 28,400 people in New Zealand over a year period taking paid parental leave, you won't actually be eligible for this. Um, and so, so the universality of it all is really undermined by that. So it's, it really is actually targeted in a way. And if that's what the Labour Party are doing, then I would like them to explain that and explain why it actually isn't universal. Um, I'm genuinely interested to see why working mothers are, are being um, penalised in this, in this instance. Um, the second part of my question to the Minister Mr Robertson got up yesterday and talked about how uh, the fact that this was universal, even though it's not, uh, because of the fact that every family faces costs with a newborn, and I would argue working mothers on paid parental leave face those same costs. Um, he also went on to say that it will be, there will be an abatement uh, rate for years two and three, so it is more targeted for years two and three. He then went on to say the first three years of a child's life are, are the most important years, and yet... In this policy, he is taking the first 12 months as the most important, but I would actually argue the costs that you face, and I've been through this recently, I've got a, 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 a five-year-old, in fact, so I've been through this recently, I have, I have um, some uh, recent experience in this, and that your costs of having a child in years two and three are so greatly uh, so much more than in the first 12 months because you've got more food, more clothing, more activities, haircuts, shoes, um, there is, and, and potentially um, childcare and, and having to go back to work. There are so many more expenses in those years than you do face in the first 12 months. And we also have to remember that in that, that first, 12 month, if, first 12 months, if you're a working mother, you're effectively only getting half of the rate. So you get half the rate and then it gets abated 
when you get all of your big costs of having a two and a three-year-old? I'd like to hear from the Minister specifically around those questions, please. Thank you. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Oh, Madam Chair. Um, sorry, just Madam before I call, can I just remind new members that when you're speaking in the House, you are speaking to the Chair. So uh, try not to, you, when you're talking you, I mean, I was a working mother, so I do understand, but actually I'm not a working mother at the moment. I am the chair of the house, so when you're making your speeches, just leave out the you and rephrase it. I call the Honourable Carmel Cipollone. I, I'm not going to take a, a long call. I just want to.